So I've gotten a few questions in regards to this on some of my other social media sites. And if you don't um, subscribe to me on those sites, please go to YouTube to find Procrast Creation DIY. Um, you can actually find me on Procrast Creation DIY on YouTube, Facebook, um, Twitter, and um, what's the last one? Inst Instagram. Blah. So somebody has contacted me through one of those means and asked me about a YouTube video that I did where I do paint wood grains on tumblers. So today, um, they wanted to know whether, how did I do it on glass? And it's not the first time I've been asked this question. So I'm just gonna do a quick instructional video on painting this um, beer glass, um, glass on painting wood grain on this tumbler or on this glass. So I have already spray painted this. So I cleaned it off with white alcohol ink and then I used a white primer to paint it um, or spray paint it. And now I am going to use um, alcohol. You need 91% alcohol and you're gonna need some alcohol inks. So I'm going to use all of these to um, paint this tum paint this glass. Blah! Keep saying tumbler. So I'm gonna move my camera down so you won't see me too much. And for the people that are watching, hey Juanita, um, thank you for watching. Um, and like I said, for those of you didn't who didn't watch it in the live, you will see this definitely again posted to Facebook as well as YouTube. Um, but I'm gonna just put my camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing. Alrighty, hey cuz. <laughs> um, so the things that you will need again, alcohol, alcohol, the glass, of course, brushes. Um, I will be putting links to the brushes that I get because I can get them kind of at an inexpensive cross. Um, ink, I am going to be using Espresso, a little bit of Sunshine Yellow, and Latte. Um, and you're going to need something just to keep your alcohol in, as well as a paper towel. So I am just going to spray or pour a little bit of alcohol into um, a little cup here and then what I'm going to do is just find a brush that kind of matches the size of the glass that I'm gonna do so because it doesn't need to be but so big so I'm gonna use this size brush right here um, and then I'm going to just dip that brush in alcohol and then get most of that alcohol off because you with this paint on here it will um, put a hole in the paint if you use too much um, of any one liquid so I'm also going to put drops of alcohol ink directly <laughs> I used the one that I said I wasn't going to use directly onto the brush so two or three drops and then I'm just going to go over the whole tumbler or glass beer mug blah with this alcohol ink so you can see it covers a lot and when you do run out you just put a few more drops on your brush so So, and you just go around the whole thing, including the bottom. And that is pretty much it. Some people, when they do this, it already kind of has a wood grain look to it. So some people stop here 
and you can put a coat of epoxy on it or a sealer on it. Um, and I use the clear coat sealer by Rust-Oleum. Um, so you can either stop here and just do that, or you can take it a step further and really give it a good look by putting some knots on it. So again, I would have to dip my brush, my new brush and get it ready um, to add the inks. So I am, like I said, just mixing a couple of inks there. I'm gonna actually brush that off because that's a little wet. So then all I'm gonna do is um, if I want it to make like a knot, is pull the ink up and just shape it around to whatever desired knot shape that I want. So as you can see, that's my first little circle on my knot. So then I would just do that again. And again, you have to be careful with the glass and the paint because it will um, definitely put a hole in the paint if you get it too wet. So, and your, your, your oval doesn't have to be neat because no wood knots are not neat. So you want them a little jagged, um, and of different shapes. So, so there. And then here I could just go up a little bit and down a little bit and just kind of keep doing that over and over again until I give myself or um, a center. So that would be a knot and this is like a super quick way to do this. Um, and then what I may do is just take a smaller brush, again, dipping it in that alcohol. And then all I'm gonna do is just kind of define the lines a little bit. So I'm just gonna go over the whole tumbler and then you'll see it kind of gives it more of a wood grain, all those little fine lines, um, it'll give it. And you could put is another knot on here if you want it to, but I'm for the sake of this and this being a quick little me popping on um, and showing people this is what's going, this is how you do this for glass. Like I said, it's the same way that I do it for um, my stainless steel tumblers. Um, and although I say that in my comments, people still want to know if there's a different process. So it's not, this is the same process that I use um, for the other um tumblers so like i said and then you can just see how it gives it the extra little defined lines um and like i said you could put more knots on here but for the sake of this video that is pretty much the whole process and you can see that that was pretty quick um so i'm gonna do that one more time with this cup um, or a glass piece of glassware. So same process. Um, you would just cover your whole top glass in your alcohol ink, get everything covered. And again, as you're making those lines, putting that ink on, it kind of already gives it that wood grain feel. When your ink gets low, you can then add other more ink onto your brush, or you can put it directly onto your glass. The only thing about putting it onto your glass, especially when you're working with glass, is again, you can't get it too wet, but it also will leave like a little circle, um, which is hard to get out. So it's better to put it on your brush and then go around. So, you just do, again, do this all the way around. And as you can see, depending on which colors you use, you can make it darker, you can make it lighter, you can have more of a yellow tone or more of a walnut type tone, um, which is all up to you and the alcohol inks that you choose. And then I'll just do this on the bottom so you can kind of see what I was talking about. Like if you just put it directly on here, 
<laughs> and then of course I wouldn't do it. But it'll leave like a little circle where you um, initially put the little drop of ink. So it's it's a pain in the butt to get out if it does do it. So I would just stay away from that if if you could. So um, again, from here, you could leave it like this. It already has a wood grain kind of feel or you can find a spot and put a knot or two. Um, you could start a knot from the top. And again, you're just pushing the ink to where you want it. So if your brush gets dry, you can dip it into your alcohol, but you're just pushing that ink to form a shape. Um, whichever shape you want your knot to be in. And then you just go inside of that and then make another layer. So all I'm doing is pushing ink around. And then if the ink gets too light, then I can put another drop on my um, brush and then just go in there and keep working. So now I can um, add another layer to what I've already done. So you're just gonna continue to do that. Um, until you got a, a knot that looks satisfying to you. So there's one there. So on this one, I would probably do two and probably have one come over the edge of the, the glass. So, hope you can see this. So, there. So, it would come over where it would continue around the bottom. And then again, you're just still doing the same thing. You're giving it another layer and you're just doing that all the way around on the bottom. And then you can do continue that layer to you get your desired look. And then if you mess up, look, you can just, if you want to decide, oh, I want this to be taller, you just go and move it again. Alcohol ink will move as long as you have alcohol on that brush, you can move that alcohol ink around. So, and if you put too much, see how it makes it a little bit lighter. So you just want to be careful of that as well. So you could do that and then you can make those rings come out a little bit more. So again, that is pretty much the process. Um, for those of you that were curious and that were asking me, um, how do you do this on glass? This is how you do it. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope, um, um, again, I don't know what I'm talking about right now. I'm tired. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Anita, for joining me. And um, I'm going to let these dry again. I'm going to seal them with um, a clear coat um, made by Rust-Oleum. And that will be that. Then I could put a decal on it if I wanted to, or I could leave it as is. But Glass is the same way as the stainless steel tumbler. Um, look at the affiliate links. If you're looking at this in a replay, look at the affiliate links um, that I will have listed below. <laughs> Make it come back up. That I'll have listed below. Look at those affiliate links um, because you, that'll have the links to the alcohol ink and everything else you need to do this project. Um, I found some really cheap brushes again on um, Amazon. I'm glad you like it. Um, I found some really um, nice brushes to work with, but that aren't expensive. I think I got 32 brushes for like $9.99. So um, I, will, I will post those as well on the replay. Thank you. I really appreciate y'all watching. And um, I will see you all the next time. Come check out my other social media sites. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. How do I cut it off? <laughs>